The Melbourne Storm suffered their third straight loss yesterday and have fallen to fourth, tied with the Eels and the Broncos on the NRL ladder. But perhaps what is even more concerning is that during a collision with Jack Whiten, superstar fullback Ryan Pappenhausen shattered his kneecap and will miss the rest of the season after having to undergo surgery. Due to this unfortunate injury, many have questioned whether the Storm can really challenge in 2022 or can we officially put the red pencil through them? In my opinion, it's not over for the Storm, but I won't be shocked if they miss the top four. Guys, before we get any more into the video, over 90% of you watching are not subscribed, so please subscribe if you haven't already. It is completely free, and you can always change that mind later. Comment your thoughts about this situation in that comment section and of course smash that like button if you enjoy the video and you want to see more. After yet another dominant start to a season it seems that ever since the heavy loss to the Penrith Panthers things have gone downhill for the Melbourne Storm. Heading into Magic Round the Storm sat on top of the NRL ladder with nearly a 100 point bear for and against then the Penrith Panthers in second, with many thinking that they were in fact the gold standard in the competition. But, going into that match without their superstar Ryan Papadows and the Storm suffered an unstorm-like 32-6 loss since that match. The Storm have won three games, but have lost four including their last three, which included being dominated by the Manly Seagulls for 70 minutes and then backing it up with a huge loss to the Cronulla Sharks. Many people have said that the past few months have been unstorm-like and I have to agree. Now the last time I said the storm would struggle, I got destroyed in that comment section. Well, who's laughing now? In all seriousness, I kind of thought this is exactly how the Storm season would play out after what happened to them in the offseason, but their injury toll has been ridiculous, similar to last year's Roosters side. Now, I never thought at any stage this season the Storm were going to win the Premiership. In fact, I do still honestly believe, as I did at the start of the season, it's the Panthers to lose. I guess the biggest question is, are the Storms still the biggest threat to the Panthers and, unfortunately for you Storm fans, I don't think they are anymore. I still think that they will finish in the top four, but I'll be very surprised if they make the grand final, which was something I was certain of 10 weeks ago. It would also not surprise me if they actually missed the top four altogether, with the Broncos showing great form, with the return of Latrell Mitchell, and if the Eels can find some consistency. <laughs> <laughs> you serious? The Storm have to be careful. This weekend, they play the South Sydney Rabbitohs, who have been firing with the return of Latrell Mitchell. If they lose that match, they could find themselves out of the top four, going tied with the Rabbitohs, and potentially being dragged into that dogfight with the teams around 7th to 10th. Now, that is worst case scenario. But we have to remember that they still have the Lord and Saviour Craig Bellamy and the best six and nine in the competition. I guess through all this dribble, what I'm trying to say is that no, I don't think we can put the red pen through the Melbourne Storm because with Craig, Munster, Hughes, Grant, Cheese and all those established stars, they are more than likely to make a run into September learning to adapt without Pappenhausen and finding their form in that final series as they often do. But, in my opinion, they are no longer the biggest threat to Penrith as that spot is reserved for the Cronulla Sharks. I think we all wish Pappenhausen a speedy recovery. He has had a phenomenal start to the season and to see him deal with these recent injuries sucks. Hopefully he will be back bigger and better in 2022. I don't think the Melbourne Storm will win the 2022 Premiership. I don't think they're going to be making an appearance in this year's Grand Final. But I don't want to put the red pen through them because of Craig 
and Cameron Munster. Guys, thank you so much for watching as always. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. It is completely free and you can always change your mind later. Don't forget to leave your opinion in that comment section and smash that like button if you enjoy this video and want to see more of them. I'll see you guys in the next one.